Sweet. Sweet that stage. <laughs> actually came because they had to change the way they value the debt that they hold. Uh, the banks also had to set aside an extra £125 million to cover claims for PPI mis-selling and it's confirmed that it is going to repay the last of that £163 billion package of emergency loans that it received from the US and UK government. One of the things I was quite interested in is the way a lot of artists kind of constantly turn to the issues that are happening in the world at that moment as the, as the primary source for their practice. So mm -hmm. the artistic practice, these kind of artists I was, con I was thinking about, they have a set mode of working and then they apply that mode, that process to whatever is kind of politically or culturally or significant at that time. Roy Hodgson is the new England manager. I've set in place a series of parameters for what can happen today or uh, tried to put some devices in place that will help me get through it. And those include six characters, hashtag, grunter, Mario Balotelli, Bonnie Wright, the Fabergé Hen and Miso Leroy. Oi Kenny Miller, Oi Kenny Miller, I've never met you, so I wouldn't want to accuse you. There's a rumour circulating, that you kicked in her back doors, you kicked in her back doors. Um, we mainly work with collage, with text, with found images, images we make ourselves. The democracy of the prosecution. The prosecution is the concept of the scam of the elites. So the democracy is Having a news feed makes you want to do things as rapidly as the news is coming, but then you realise that it's actually the Impossible. same news often as yeah. well, and they're just going over and over the same points, but just really quickly. Here in Leicester, for example, is an artist's project. And I think we found, we saw an opportunity with the, f the, the funding the Arts Council provided to, 
take the idea and, and kind of push it with new technologies. In terms of the digital stream, and I think it's, I, I think it's, it's like there's a lot of interesting possibilities with it, and I think the stuff we're experimenting with, in terms of having a fairly unmediated situation being streamed directly to people. They don't need to be here. They don't need yeah. to look at it in the flesh. Mm. Or they don't need to visit anywhere. No. Because you can watch EastEnders whenever you want. You don't have to watch it at half eight every night. Like all you used the news. To. Yeah, all the news, yeah. You can watch anything you want at any time. So I think, yeah. the, att I think the attempt to do it with art is good. But I'm, I'm not sure whether it will work. The kind of things we have to deal with working within the mainstream media is, you know, it directs you in a certain way. So, There's certain things we can't do. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing, a lot of the guidelines that we've been working to are, have been slightly abstract and subjective. And I mean, we've had a couple of red flags from the BBC. You know, we've broken some, uh, which we're, we're very sorry about. Had the other camera zoomed right in on the sort of eagle thing, and that was like around the outside, so the outside was like really flashing, and then there was just this like kind of rectangle with you like doing the painting in, and um, yeah, it looked really good. And then she like ran up and was like, I need to put a warning on this. <laughs> this is Radio Green, brought to you by Vanilla Galleries News. What is art? What is the news? I don't think these are questions we're going to get to the bottom of tonight. One small night, one slice of time. One thread of humanity. Thank you.